Alright, today's tutorial is about a little PHP script I'm writing, uh, about installing and configuring OpenVPN in under 5 minutes. This tutorial will be a little longer since we'll be explaining a lot of the facets of it. However, as you can see, I have the script in my web root, and I'm pointing to the install.php script, and as you can see, we don't have OpenVPN installed, and I can't find the bin status or the config folder. So. We're going to install OpenVPN using the applicant since we have a found a Debian or Debian flavor. So we're going to go ahead and enter the root password. This does require root password access. Um, this is running everything in PHP Seclib, which um, acts like an SSH session into the server. So as you can see, it's just doing applicant update and applicant apt -get install. And this localhost we have there, but obviously we're not on localhost. So And the installed PHP script has found that it there is a bin file and a config folder. However, um, it can't find a lot of the other stuff. So it says, well, let's do a start initial setup. It's going to look to see if it can generate the, the certs. Um, but there is PKI tool was not found. So we're going to have to do a clean start. And it said it, it will continue. Uh, all current certs will be cleared and deleted. Um, but we don't have any, so not an issue. And it usually would have found them if we did. So, server and client names cannot contain spaces, etc., etc. This is just some information needed for the cert, and we're just gonna blaze right through this. And server name. Um, let's do, do that and do that. Hit submit, and this is the core of it, the application that's running all the commands on the command line. Um, that is an issue with Diffie-Hellman because sometimes that takes a long time to complete. If it does take too long the script will give you instructions on how to perform that manually. However, as you can see, you can see all of what it, all the information that it's going through um, as it prints out. As you can see, Diffie-Hellman is waiting to complete, not completed, waiting. And this can go on for, I think, 35 seconds and if it takes longer than that then it will instruct you to run the command yourself and um, copy the Diffie-Hellman parameters uh, by yourself. Um, currently Diffie-Hellman uh, it only does the 1 or 2 4 so if you want to do that manually if you need it a larger um, a larger key and then the process appears to be completed reading the directory to confirm um, as you can see, it found it in the directory, so it's copying it to the config directory, and it's starting it, and as you can see, no errors, but we have to go back to the install script, and as you can see, all of it's green, and, but we did create a client key, so we're going <coughs> to move the client key, it wasn't required, but we added it, and right now it currently re recreates the key, but yeah, I'm working on that. Uh, right now we can do, I think... Uh, everything works except for the SCP to another box that's going to be worked on. Um, but right now, uh, we can do nothing. Copy it to the OpenVPN config directory, um, which might be more useful with like a server key or something. Um, although we already did generate and create a server key, but right now we're going to use give me a download link. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it doesn't have our host name to write in the client config, so we're going to go ahead and hit submit. And it's going to go ahead and create all of the necessary files for us and give us the download download link. And as you can see, client test has downloaded. Go show in folder. Um, it's a zip file, uh, but we can copy everything out of it. And I have OpenVPN portable on the C drive. So if we go to data, config, paste it in here, <coughs> everything will work. Since this is a Windows, um, box or at least a Windows client, um, we do have to rename this to um, OVPN. Hopefully the script will eventually do that. Um, and if we go ahead and take a look at it, we'll notice that it has all the information we need to connect successfully um, already added. So, And of course the required files as well, the ca.cert, the client test.cert, and the client test.key. And we should be good to go. So if we go back to OpenVPN Portable and run as administrator, since that's required, um, 
hit yes, and it should go ahead and automatically connect to whatever config is in the folder. If not, we can hit connect. Uh, looks like it's trying to connect to client test right now. And it's currently connecting, connecting. Um, there we go, and client test is now connected. So to test that, what we can easily do is a few things. Let's start out with this and uh, 172.17.0.1. And it's going to go ahead and should pull up the net. And we will also open up a web browser and we should be able to hit uh, 172.17.0. Holy cow, it's taking this time. There we go. And as you can see, it pulled that up. And let's open up a new window here. And 172.17.0.1. Boom, there you go. You hit the. Uh, as you can see, once it pulls up at least, it seems to work fairly quickly. So, Alright, and that's pretty much how to get uh, set up and connected very quickly. Um, once you're done with that, uh, it'll leave you at the cert page and you can go. Uh, it won't display anything until you just delete those files, at least at the home. Um, and most of this other stuff is, is not really worked on. Um, as you can see, you can look over your openvpn.comp file and you can add a line or up and then update the config, whatever you want to do. So, um, I'm working on, I think if you want to delete a line, you can just delete the contents out of it and hit update config. Definitely working on that still. Um, then you can manage your certs right now. And you can just see we have the server. Dot CSR and the client test at CSR, and then you'll be able to revoke or remove. Um, the remove just deletes it from the list. Um, last connected up, that's not uh, set up yet. And advanced, not even, uh, not even a file yet. So, but from here you can create at least right now just a server and client key. CI key will be next. So, all right, that's pretty much it. Um, it at least the core part of the server is up and running where you can quickly. Uh, set up and configure a client with OpenVPN.